Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing very well. Another day, me joining you from my dressing room. I do apologize, but I'm actually currently packing at the moment and I thought I'd just quickly turn on my camera because the evening's just slipping away. I've got so much to do and I really want to start this vlog. This is so freaking random. Also, how cute is my phone case? It's from um my friend Anuska's brand called treats and i'm just absolutely obsessed with it most of the phone cases that i have on my phone at the minute are from treats i have this like gummy bear one as well which so many people love and always ask me questions about um but yeah i'm just so proud of her because her brand is just doing so well and um yeah big up treats i don't know if you guys have seen recently but i've seen this advert on tv which is for google basically they've added this like new feature where if you supposedly hum a song that you don't know the name to into Google, it will tell you the song. I just took a video of bread, like in like bathing in the sun in the bedroom, and I just thought of this like piano melody that I used to love, but I don't know the name to it because it's like concerto B. Blah, blah, blah. Anyway, I thought this would be the perfect time to try the Google thing where I hum it into the microphone and see if it works. I've downloaded the Google app and now I'm gonna. Oh my god, this literally feels like I'm doing an ad for Google. I freaking wish. Let's try a basic one first before I do the piano concerto. Mm. Right, it didn't work. <laughs> Guys, it's not working. This is so embarrassing. It literally just keeps like, it's not, it's not. It just keeps saying tap the microphone, but I'm tapping it and then doing it, then it just keeps saying tap the microphone, like it's not registering. Okay, oh, okay, 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 I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. I got it, I got it. Hey Google, what's this song? <laughs> yeah, didn't work. Guys, that was the biggest, fattest fail ever. What the hell? I'm so disappointed. I literally thought it was going to totally work because I've literally watched the advert on TV where people are like singing into the microphone and it comes up with the song straight away. I must be doing it wrong or something. That's me never finding out what that piano song is that I wanted to put on top of my video of bread. Anyway, now that that part of the vlog is over. I am packing because tomorrow morning I am getting picked up for the airport at 5.30 a.m. And I'm actually heading to Paris. I'm going to Paris with Beauty Works. We are out there shooting content for just a couple of days. You guys know I won't go away for, at the moment, I won't go away for any longer than two nights just because obviously I have a five month old at home. Um, and actually there was another thing that I was thinking about in the car today. I was actually having a conversation with my, uh, one of my friends who's also a mum friend of mine. She's a a normal friend first, but she's also a mum. So now she's like, I call her a mum friend. Um, but I was having a really good in-depth conversation with a friend the other day about mum guilt. We were talking about how some mums feel mum guilt more than others. And you know, the level of mum guilt that we sometimes feel. And I thought like it would just be quite a different perspective to perspective to share with you guys. Um, that sometimes the guilt that I feel is guilt for not having mum guilt. And that's quite a scary thing for me to admit especially online because everyone's gonna be like, what, you don't feel guilty for leaving your child? And of course, absolutely. When I go away for literally, even if I leave Bambi for a few hours, if I go on a shoot that's just for like a day, of course I feel guilty that I'm not with her and I, I want it to be me taking care of her. And I, you know, I, yeah, of course. But these like intense levels of mum guilt that some of my other mum friends feel, or I know some like, people on YouTube often speak about it. I was actually saying to my friend that I think the main guilt that I feel is the fact that I, I don't think I feel that level of guilt when I have to go away for work. I miss Bambi so, so, so much. And yeah, of course I wish that I could just stay at home and be with her all the time, but do I feel guilty for going away and leaving her to go to work so that I can earn a living? If anything, I actually feel proud. I can definitely see how watching other, maybe like blogger mums or mums online um, who share their lives, it can sometimes make you feel like, oh God, they feel a certain way about something, so should I feel that way? Or, you know, Molly feels that way about something to do with Bambi, so should I feel that way? Or, you know, another blogger feels, or influencer feels that way about their child, I'm not feeling that, should I feel that way? However you feel in motherhood or in life, you know, even take away children and babies, however you feel about any situation, that's like totally relevant to you and who you are. I feel like I started to get a bit worried and anxious and like thinking oh my god am i a terrible mum that i don't feel mum guilt um but no that doesn't make me a bad mum um and i just yeah i don't want anyone else to ever feel that way because it felt a bit rubbish when i did feel that feel that way recently and i just thought i'd share that but anyway how much have i sidetracked there in the first 
literally five ten minutes of this vlog i do apologize I'm excited to go to paris with you guys i'm gonna bring you guys along now i'm gonna finish packing i am nearly done to be fair and i'm gonna get myself an early night because as i said i'm getting picked up at 5 30 a.m night Okay guys, half five in the morning and I'm all ready for the airport. Yeah, let's head to Paris. So we have touched down in Paris. We've actually had such a good morning. Obviously, as you guys know, we were up at the crack of dawn. We were literally at the airport for like before 6 a.m. Um, and surprisingly, I literally felt so fine. Like I didn't feel too tired like I really felt great and I only had about four hours sleep so we just been out for some lunch um and I was desperate to try some French onion soup I saw a picture of this French onion soup on Pinterest the other day and it's been in my head ever since and I was like this is perfect timing because I'm heading to Paris soon so I got French onion soup and I'm not gonna lie I really didn't enjoy it it's more I, I kind of pictured it being like this creamy thick like oniony cheesy soup but it was more like a broth like once you break through the cheese it's just like wa like oily water, it was not for me. We're starting shooting for Beauty Works this afternoon, so we've had sort of like lunch time to kind of do what we want, and now we're gonna get straight into it. I don't know if you guys can notice, I'm actually back just at the moment filming on my old camera, well this is Tommy's old camera, um, just because my big, bird watching camera is in my suitcase which i'm about to unpack um so yeah i thought i'd bring both and i could just switch between the two because this one's a lot more discreet uh, whereas my other one like i've told you guys a million times i look like a paparazzi with it it's a mini room tour um the rooms here are actually they're just so beautiful they're quite traditional actually um it's like very traditional parisian vibes but they're yeah absolutely beautiful i've wanted to stay here for so long there's a little sofa area here they gave us some milk chocolate before which me and erin absolutely devoured the bathroom is just through here so yeah a little mini room tour honestly for two days what i've packed <laughs> i'm not well bought this the other day casablanca Oh my, we have to shoot that hair, Molly. That's unbelievable. Nice, isn't it? Oh my god, that's one of my favourite things you've ever got. I've been in the sale. It was at half price. The self just sale is the what I'm telling you. We've just ordered some iced coffees to the room as a little pick me up, but they didn't have any syrup. Oh, What's nice. Gales called? Is it just called Gales? Gales. Oh, at just Gales the other day. <laughs> just Gales. Um, I wanted syrup, but they didn't have any, so they said they could give me honey, and I was like, that's going to be disgusting. But it was actually one of the nicest coffees yeah. I've ever had. So um, I got them to send out some honey. So I'm going to pour honey in it and see if that makes it taste nice and sweet. Is it an iced coffee? Will I not? Will you like eating things frozen? Everyone's telling me I'm not gonna like it. Let me pour some honey in it. Nice. Test of my warm yes. iced coffee. It's a lot, a lot of foam at the top. I'm just gonna get yeah. foam, aren't I? Yeah, it's a cooled down hot coffee. Yeah, isn't it? that's exactly what it yeah. is. It's quite nice though. <laughs> With ice in it, that'd be lovely. <laughs> like I've never seen rain before and that you guys have never seen rain before either but I actually feel like this shoot could potentially be in jeopardy what are we saying <laughs> this is the first time we've seen my face all evening because I've had stage fright and not been able to show my face to the camera but you can't see on the camera how bad the rain is but like it's thunder and literal lightning oh my god it's like something from a period drama <laughs>
great. So do I. I think you look <laughs> stunning. Good morning, guys. So, it's bright and early. Just started the day with a little iced coffee and I really like this glass and they've given a glass straw as well, so very aesthetic. I had a really good sleep and I'm ready for a new day. So, I'm gonna drink my iced coffee, carry on with glam. Jack's gonna do my hair. What's the hairstyle we're starting with, Jack? Half up today and then... Oh, um, I think I've got oat milk. Well, I've got black coffee. Oh, have you? Oh. I wanna make this forever <laughs> Lots of wind, so um, planned. I don't really know what the plan B is, so um, stay tuned. Good morning, everyone. My lens is literally so dirty, I need to clean it. It's covered in like food or something, but anyway, good morning. Apologies for not closing off the vlog yesterday, but to be honest, there's probably not much to close off from yesterday. Another day, another conversation about how I just find it hard to vlog when it's I'm with anyone other than just me, basically, which is just ridiculous, but. Yeah, even when I'm literally with my closest friends, like my glam squad that I've used for four years now, Erin, who's one of my best friends, like I just can't be myself in front of the camera. Like I can pick the camera up, but I can't talk to you guys the way I normally would because I just, I don't know, I cringe myself out even though I'm just being me on camera. So I guess myself, being myself, cringes me out, I guess, in front of other people. But anyway, I'm actually going home this afternoon, but I thought I'd vlog this morning. The Beauty Works the shoot is finished now. We got all the content done yesterday. It went so well. We're gonna go ahead and find a Starbucks because I've not had a good iced coffee since I've been here for three days and I'm literally gagging for one. So we're gonna go get an iced coffee and then have a little walk around Paris and I'll bring you guys with me. Oh, we look really similar. <laughs> we do look similar. Everyone says that. Do you know that? Really? Oh my god. Cheers. The table's filthy. Cheers, Cheers everyone. Filthy animals. Taste test. I'm going to give an honest opinion. If it tastes bad, I'm going to say. Okay. okay. But thank you, Holly, for treating us to a coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Even if it is rancid. It could be rancid. <laughs> Not a dive of syrup in it. No, no, not a dime. Not a dime okay, You know, the coffee is not bad, but it's it's not syrupy. What are you grateful for today? <laughs> I'm grateful for being in Starbucks for the past three days. Wait, I'm going to get those stuck then. Holly, you go. Okay, um, my affirmation, so hang on, do I need to do affirmation for the day? Yeah, yeah. no affirmations for the trip. Okay. That, that's not how affirmations work. And what can't you wait for? I can't wait to get home. I'm oh, sorry, I can't wait to get home to my child. But I've also had a lovely time with my friends. Oh, amazing. And, um, <laughs> <laughs> Hi, guys. So, we're just going to have a Oh. Hello. 
being quiet because Tommy and Bambi are in there and they're both asleep. It's really early but I thought I'd get up, get myself ready for the day and just have a little quick catch up with you guys because I've not spoken to you. Well, I actually did film a little segment yesterday of me kind of explaining what happened but because I was with Tommy, like, I just... You know, like obviously I just was not like, I felt like I couldn't be myself because I didn't like vlogging in front of it. Oh my gosh, this vlog has taken like a massive turn and I really got surprised yesterday. Like I literally can't get over it. I've never been so shocked in my entire life. I think that's probably the first time in my life where I, I've actually been genuinely like truly surprised at something. Like I always figure everything out if there's ever like a surprise going on, if Tommy ever has anything planned, I normally have like a slight inkling, but I literally had no idea about that yesterday. And I was just so shocked. So yeah, Tommy and Bambi came to Paris to surprise me. And honestly, I mean, just the cutest thing in the world and meant so much to me. And basically the reason why they've come here <laughs> It wasn't just random, it's mine and Tommy's fourth. We've been together four years today, so on the 7th of July is our anniversary, which is today. And yeah, we've been together four years, which um, I put on my Instagram last night and everyone was like, oh my God, that's gone so quickly. And I don't know, I can't tell if it's gone quickly or if it feels like we've been together literally just like our whole lives. It feels like we've been together forever. Like I kind of feel like I don't remember a time where we weren't together. I do. That's not true. I remember when we were together, but like, it just feels like we've been together forever. It's weird. And today, today, guess what we're doing? I'm literally so excited. We're going to Disneyland. We're going to Disneyland with Bambi and I'm literally so excited. If you guys like know me and Tommy through and through, like that's our just like perfect way to spend our anniversary. Like it just, we're obsessed with theme parks, amusement parks, like we're just like two big kids. Like sometimes I post on my story the other day, sometimes I actually am scared that we have our own child because we are still children ourselves. But yeah, he's put Disneyland Paris today, so that's why I'm up super early because I thought I'll get myself ready so then I'm all sorted, then I can get up, get Bambi sorted, and then I can be nice and organised. But yeah, I literally can't wait. And also another funny thing, um, because I didn't know the surprise was happening, I didn't pack a makeup bag. So yesterday when he surprised me, obviously I was with Holly and Jack and Erin, um, but Holly and me were quickly ran into Sephora and we bought everything that I need. Um, so I'll quickly show you what I got actually. Like, oh, that's probably quite an interesting thing to know, like what my makeup artist would buy me in an emergency, like the things that she'd grab for me. Luckily I had gone to Mac the day before and stocked up on a few things, but I'll just quickly show you what um, what we bought. I've got this big bag and it's literally basically full. I really did have to spoil myself because I didn't have brushes, anything. I had nothing with me. I literally wore nothing because Holly was here. So I was like, I don't need my makeup bag. Um, I never take my makeup bag when I'm going on work trips because she does my makeup for me. So it's just like a pointless thing to pack. The day before, um, I got surprised. <laughs> I picked up two of the um, MAC strobe dewy skin tints. I got them in shade medium four and medium one because I'm normally shade medium three and I didn't have it. So I thought I'll get a darker shade and a lighter shade and I'll mix them together. But this is the product that I'm absolutely obsessed with at the minute for my skin. Like. I haven't been this obsessed with the product in a long time. I then picked up an eyebrow pencil. I got that in shade Lingering. I picked up a lip liner in Boldly Bare. Holly was trying to get me to buy a much darker one. She wanted me to get stripped down or something, but it's, she loves to put brown lip liner on me. And that's the one thing that we disagree on. And she literally loves like brown lip liner. And I'm like, Holly, she tries to do it every time and I'm like, get that pink lip liner on me now. She, the way I like to have my lips, she do, she does it for me, but she'd rather do it different. She wants to do like more brown. So she was trying to get me to buy a brown lip liner and I was like, absolutely not. I then bought a lip balm. I got Lano lips. She didn't tell me to get this, but I just, my lips get so dry and I didn't pack a lip balm because I were only here for a couple of days. So I picked up a lip balm. Two things I'm actually really excited about. I got two things from Too Faced. This is the Better Than Sex Mascara and I got it in 
the new brown shade is called chocolate and i was saying to holly i really want to try a brown mascara so she was like okay try this so i got my normal brown liquid eyeliner i'm really excited to try this brown mascara because i posted on my story the other day saying that i don't really like wearing mascara and so many of you guys replied saying if you don't like wearing mascara maybe try brown mascara because it's a little bit more subtle and um, so i thought that's a really good idea so i bought a brown mascara which i'm really excited to try and picked up some sephora own lash curlers because i don't have my lash curlers with me normally i use the tweezers and ones but i then picked up this random cheap brush set because like i said i have no brushes to apply like bronzer eyeshadow anything so i think this was about 30 euros i think they're mini brushes they're probably only about that big um but yeah i just picked up that because i thought i'm gonna need some brushes to be honest like i don't even really i didn't even really need to get any of this because i could have just not worn makeup today like it really doesn't faze me but i thought if i wake up and feel really gross and i want to put some makeup on and i won't have the option to so holly grabbed for me a mini charlotte tilbury pillow toy talk lip duo she loves pillow talk on me and it's great for me because it's slightly more pink we picked up a new beauty blender i love the color this is like a little pastel green she then grabbed me a tarte shape tape she swears by this concealer it's like she never ever does my makeup without using this concealer she absolutely loves it so, and i've never actually bought it before so i grabbed one of those she normally always uses the laura mercier um setting powder on me but they didn't have it in sephora so she got me a huda beauty setting powder and um, this is in shade pound cake but she grabbed me a charlotte tilbury glowgasm which i've already used before myself and i absolutely love and picked up a mini hula how cute is that it's literally tiny i had a big one in my basket um but then i saw a mini one i was like that just makes more sense because i've already got two of these large ones at home and then i picked up i actually decided to pick this up holly didn't tell me to get this but i got a fenty beauty cheeks out cream blush in shade petal poppin i'll just show you what this looks like it looks so lovely that's what it looks like it's cream blush and i absolutely love cream blush finally this was actually a recommend well, it wasn't a recommendation but i borrowed this product from ellen the other day when we were working and she, i was like does anyone have any lip products and she was like, i've got this and i tried it and i was absolutely i've never been so mesmerized by a product in my entire life and i was like i need to get that and it's from tarte maracuja mara maracuja maracuja I don't know how you say it. Maracuja Ju Juicy Lip. Um, and this is like a lip balm with colour in it. And it's so moisturising. And actually has really nice colour pay off. Um, this is what it looks like. I don't know if you guys can see that. You guys all need to run and go and get this product. Because it's absolutely insane. And I bought three. So I'm going to be alright if you want to go and buy and sell them out. Because honestly, I got it in shade. This is in shade Rose try it you will not regret it it's literally unbelievable yeah that's everything that my makeup artist told me to buy from sephora i just thought that might be quite an interesting little haul for you guys because it's not like all stuff that i'm trying for the first time like this is tr well most of this is tried and tested stuff that me and holly both love um, when she does my makeup so yeah i'm gonna get myself ready now i don't know how much i'm gonna vlog today i'm so excited to have like a special family day um but i'll bring my camera along Take your fellows a hundred times before Going in circles on a one-way street Behind a TV gets off But I guess you haven't heard You've been yet around no more Things are about to get much better So I wanna make this show What have you got, Daddy? I got a 30th anniversary, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> and Daddy's got an ice cream. Oh, Wow. <laughs> You've not taken your ears off yet. I don't plan to. How's your day at Disney going? Having the best day ever. Best day ever. How's your day at Disney going? How's your day at Disney going? <laughs> best day ever. She's just had some sweet potato and carrots and gobbled it all up. So far guys, we're having the best day ever. I really don't think we're going to be able to fit everything in all in one day. Um, so we need to make a plan of everything we want to go around and see. But there's this ride called It's a Small World. Excuse me, which I'm desperate to take Bambi on because there's no height restrictions and she can go on it. So I think that's our next stop. <laughs> Thank you. 
And the Vlogger of the Year Award goes to me. We're back home. We've literally been back home for, I'm going to say weeks. I'm going to, I'm literally going to say weeks. Like, it's probably been about just over a week now, guys. And we're back home. The vlogging skills in Paris were quite possibly my worst I've ever done. But I'm actually still glad that I filmed the little bits that I did film because that trip was without a doubt one of like the happiest times of my entire life. And yesterday when I was editing the vlog, I actually just like burst into tears watching back the bit where Tommy surprised me. Like I put this like music behind it and when I was watching it, I just like, Zoe and Danny were around and I just like burst out crying. And Zoe was like, let it all out, Mom. Just let it all out. Like it's all right. <laughs> Cause I don't know. I mean, I've actually, to be fair, I've got lots to catch up on in another vlog. Um, but basically I've just started in a contraceptive pill. A bit of a random thing, thing just to chuck in at the end of this vlog but yeah it's my first week on um a new pill and my past experiences with pills have never, has never really been that smooth and i have never found one that um i find works for me so i'm trying a different one and i don't know if these like heavy heavy intense emotions like me just bursting out at the vlog when i was editing it is because of this pill potentially or i was just watching the footage back and it made me really emotional because it is really emotional and i just think i was just so so happy in paris like honestly that was like one of the happiest times of my entire life just being in paris with tommy and bambi like him coming to surprise me then going to disneyland like it was just like one of the happiest times ever and such an amazing couple of days and i'll never ever ever forget it and i'm so glad that i have this vlog to remember it by even though it's not one of my longest vlogs it's probably not one of my best vlogs but i hope you guys enjoyed it anyway i know i've been kind of irregular on youtube recently i really haven't been frequent with the content but like mum life has seriously seriously been taking over like like it's been really intense the last week um and i've been like trying to juggle work as well as taking care of bambi full time and it's just like it's been a real challenge so I have I literally haven't had a minute to even think about YouTube I can be completely honest but I'm hoping over the next week I'll be able to get into a bit more of a pattern and potentially pick up my camera a little bit more if you made it to the end of this video I love you millions and hopefully I will see you all in my next one bye guys